Christie Catalytics is a company in Crooksville. Um, I'm born and raised there, and I had no idea what the big, they have a big giant red and white tent that looks almost like the circuses in town. Uh, no idea what that was. The kids had no idea what it was. Uh, Mr. Sparks came in and, you know, was fortunate he had two students, uh, or two kids that were former students of mine, so that made a great partnership. And uh, they make clay, little clay balls that they send out all over the world. Uh, the company's based out of St. Louis, and then they use those clay balls in refineries. Um, like I say, nationwide, worldwide. So for our kids in you know, little old Crooksville of 2,000 people to realize they have a worldwide impact right there uh, was huge. Uh, the kids had a $5,000 budget and they had to come up with some sort of exterior project uh, to the building to make it more welcoming, more inviting. Uh, so the kids, they present a lot of things and then the connections that they made, the ideas they came up with, uh, like one of them was they wanted to have a big sign, uh, like the digital signs that you put out front of your school. We had just put one out. Kids were like, you know, like a sign out by the highway. So that opened up. Then we said, you know, we called our curriculum director and that group of kids ended up in front of the curriculum director who they had no idea who she was. And then in front of the high school principal who they had no idea who he was. And then on a daily basis, they're making a, company, a call to Kessler Sign Company in Zanesville. Um, so it was just, it was fun to see the connections they were making. So, uh, but they came up with some really good ideas and Chris actually got back to me and he said, yeah, many of their ideas being implemented. We are currently pouring concrete outside the office and factory. We're building a covered area outside with picnic tables, barbecue grill, and they're getting ready to paint the warehouse, which is a lot of them were saying that. PCC airfoils make uh, jet engine parts. So if you've been on a jet engine, you've probably been uh, on you know a jet that has pieces that were made in Crooksville. And they introduced that to the kids, so get the kids familiar with the company. And they introduced their problem that they're actually dealing with. Um, so they have a like a sandblast uh, cabinets that they use metal shot in them. And they're they're running, they're going through gloves like crazy, and they come up with this, I don't know, it's pushing thirty thousand dollars a year they're spending on gloves. So they're all right guys, we're trying to find a way first safety and economics what can we do to save some money for this project and let the kids go well we're supposed to be hands off with this the students are put in a certain group uh, four five five of the max i believe it was and they're supposed to come up with a solution and it's so hard not to say well you know <laughs> but but let them roll with it and this was a semester project we, we pick a day a week uh or so you know, to let these guys work on this and then at the end of the semester you know they came back like Adam said and they did the presentations back to the, the, the folks from PCC um, so it was really awesome to see you know where these kids came from and, and what they did with this and, you know you had to be hands-off you had to let these guys do what they did and they had to realize they're 13 14 years old yeah uh, but they they loved it um, that they they really enjoyed it and uh, a couple of quotes then uh, from Shelly, the, the gal who was the human, who's human resources. She said, uh, she feels, uh, feels it is, was a very beneficial program for us and the kids. So they got as much out of it as the kids did, connecting with these guys. And they said they would love to continue the program again. Uh, Trevor, he said, I wish I could have been involved with this as a student himself. He said, uh, using the students' ideas they came up with, so we haven't set anything in place yet. We're looking at the same ideas, replacing gloves with a better quality glove, but we're also looking at the automation ideas. So their thoughts, their solutions are right at the track with what the kids are thinking. So you know, that, that's rewarding, uh, very, very rewarding. But uh, seeing the kids, like you said, the ownership, take, taking pride in that, and they were so excited to work on this stuff. That's, that, that, I mean, that's place-based, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's huge, it, it's, it's awesome. Great activity. Awesome. I think one of the big takeaways from this is society is changing, knowledge is changing, and we don't have to memorize tables like we used to. It's all out there. We have AI. Don't be scared of it. Embrace it. And figure out how to use it responsibly. Use your tools. But technology changes so rapidly. We don't need to learn the technology. We need to learn how to understand the technology and implement it. And that's where the real world problem solving comes into it.